All right. Well, I think this should be about the worst of it. I'm thinking. This is like a, a river bottom right here, so generally speaking, these uh, these lead to the to the to the lake or to the water. That's kind of what we're hoping here. Well, there's another uh, path up. I don't know if that was any better. speed action going on here hopefully there's nobody coming from the other way I don't hear nothing I don't know how much farther we are to the to the cove now but I do see the lake and we have dropped quite a ways 200 feet so let me go ahead and close my my dome a little bit here Okay, I see the water on the GPS now. Come on, come on. We should see the water like any second. Any second now. So this is the ending cove right here. I guess it is. Look at this here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, baby. It's a couple of uh, couple of ducks or something over here. Oh, yeah. Isn't that freaking awesome, man? Holy smokes, that is awesome. All right, guys. This is where I'm going to eat my lunch, man. How awesome is this, huh? Oh, wow. Perfect. Perfect, perfect day. Perfect day, perfect lunch. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. And uh, I'll film uh, probably one more video of me going back up those uh, hills. You know, especially that one. That might be worth uh, watching. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for joining me. Much appreciated. On and in. Okay, guys. We are at that hill. So, this is the... This is the worst part of it right here. Probably make it up there. No problem on the left right there. But... I'd have to make a really sharp uh, turn, so not sure that's the best way. So I'm going to go this way. The way that we came down, I'll just get, reverse my track, and I'll go up right here. So we're in low range, four-wheel drive. Now, if I remember correctly, this was not a problem until right here okay and uh, let's see what we can do here and then turn 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 and then uh, up 
here. Okay, that should do it. We are out of that spot. Go back to high range, out of four wheel drive, and we are on our way back. Let's, let's go up high side here. I don't know if this is gonna pan out all the way up. It sure doesn't look like it, does it? Uh, we'll ride it, we'll ride it out. There we go, a little extra gas right there. I don't remember this part. Man, you know, it's amazing how the trail uh, can look completely different to you uh, just just by changing directions. You know, something that wasn't that big a deal, one direction, or you remember it a certain way, turn around, go the other way, you're like, holy smokes, I don't recognize any of this. This doesn't look familiar to me. But it looks like the uh, hill climb is not over. Well, it looks like I see some more of it up there. Uh, sun Sunset is gonna be somewhere around five. And, um, you know, I uh, wanted to get out of here before it was dark, but for a couple reasons. I mean, I just have stock of lighting on this, uh, on this quad. I never, I haven't upgraded the lighting on it at all. I don't, I generally don't ride in the dark, try not to. Uh, the danger factor goes up quite a bit when you're riding in the dark. I uh, probably will upgrade the lighting. Uh, for the summertime this year because that's the only time you can do any riding in, in the summertime here is uh, you got to ride pretty easy going trails and you got to do it at night so I'll probably uh, upgrade the lighting here pretty soon but right now I just have stock lighting and it doesn't do a, it doesn't do a fantastic job so I didn't want to get caught out here you know, trying to hunt around for turns and stuff, but I'd, I honestly now don't think it would have been a problem. I mean, I, you know, I think you can see the, the trail and, the, and everything and the route that I'm taking from the moon. I mean, you guys can see that probably super clear too and the sun's shining right on it. It's, uh, it has changed my game, man. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the route finding has become super easy. Uh, at least this trail was super easy. I have never been on this trail before and I didn't have any trouble at all navigating this trail. And there were a bunch of different trail offshoots, different trails you could take. And I only made one uh, wrong turn and it was only just for, you know, a second you know and I realized it I was like oh this is the wrong way and I turned right around if you guys remember correctly so uh, I, I think that this uh, this GPS has really changed the game for me uh, but you know there's pluses and minuses with that and I guess the minus would be is if you become too reliant on a GPS uh, and it were to fail uh, well, then you you wouldn't be able to find your ass with both hands. I'm guessing is probably what would happen to you. And to be honest, uh, that's kind of what's happened to me. I've uh, been using a GPS since uh, they were first introduced to the uh, to the consumer market. And I remember my very first GPS was somewhere in their neighborhood of $500 when they first came out on the on the scene and. Uh, I can't remember if uh, my first GPS was a GPS 2 or a GPS 3, I just can't remember. Um, wanted to say it was a GPS 3 and then I got the GPS, uh, GPS 3 Plus and I had that for a long time. Okay guys, here's the junction that we had uh, uh, used before in the past right here. And now it's just a matter of uh, you know, following my trail all the way back. And, oh, that's interesting. 
uh, the, the track that I was following or navigating has uh, gone and now what's left is just where I've been, which is very interesting. Like, let me verify that. Zoom out, zoom out one more, Point two miles. Yeah, there's where we stopped right there and here's where we went down to the lake. So it thinks we completed our navigation, which is weird because we're not back at the at the starting point yet, but that must have been how that track was laid out. But so now I'm just going to follow my tracks back to the back to the van, and uh, easy peasy. So guys, thanks for joining me on this trip. I sure do appreciate it. And uh, when I get back to the van, if it's still light outside, I'll do a. Uh, a final thought on this GPS for the review. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for you know supporting this channel and uh, you know if you like the video hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel. Talk to you guys later on NN.